They're going to give you some different looks, especially on dead balls, free throws. Keanu Trailer checked in. Here's the feed down to Kinley, and that's what Coach Kenny Brooks would like to see every single time your point guard goes in. And right wing three will not go. Knocked out of there yet again. Virginia Tech forces another turnover. Of those turnovers coming the way of Longwood, Virginia Tech has turned them into five points. And add three more on for Georgia Amore. Allison Widener will not go. Virginia Tech looking to push as they like to do. Amore and Jess Shelley. Oh, my goodness. Five different countries this year, but this is a sight to behold. It's giving retake my ankles. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice. You love it when you catch somebody off guard like that. And Nebraska also without Sam Heidi, second team all-conference player for them. Whoa! Out of Georgia, able <laughs> count the basket, she says. The great move. Heavy a runner. Oh. Yeah, it's just a nice easy shot created off the bounce. See, yeah, Virginia Tech works to get easy shots. They're, they are very disciplined on offense. As you see a great Bounce pass ahead with Taylor Soul homecoming. That is a, a deflating energy play for Boston College. That's, that was a hard one. Shot clock almost out. Oh, no, now it really counts. This is a balanced team. Love this out of bounds play because you can read the. Asheville will jump into a little 2 3 zone if they, if they feel like they need to change things up. Almost a turnover there. A trailer came in to save the day. And Georgia Amor hits a three to start us out here in Blacksburg. I think he's playing with a lot of confidence right now. And she had double figures against Tennessee. Another pickpocketing move. This time it benefits Virginia Tech. Great feed into Seoul. Dolphins, and often a numbers game two on one. Taylor Seoul with the finish. And she chooses to get to that next year. Yeah, she's quick. Oh, crossover too. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Gets what she might think is a mismatch, pulls it back, hits the three. So what, what makes her good at school also makes her good at basketball. Intelligence, focus, drive, all the above. And she likes to learn. He said that she's always watching film every game. Little stop and go. Kick it over. Wide open look for three. And the first points of the game go to Kayla King, the shooter. Friend for Virginia Tech. They really love the three. They Shot clock down to nine. Here's Greg. The handoff to Amor for three. Open look, Kayla King. Rebound comes right back to her. Amor, trailer three. Yes! On the score, count it. And right here, Georgia Amor shooting at the Virginia Tech low. But Virginia, Virginia Tech, should I say, offensively, they got to keep just driving to the basket like Amor just did right now and knock down the two with the one dribble floater. Kidley. Double team defense and Amor shoots. Amor out of the corner in front of the Canes bench. I mean, she's such a, a really good player. Talk about one player of the year. Here's another on cue showing how she can shine in front of the home fans. This rattles out on a shot from the perimeter from Carr, who can be such a sharp shooter from out there. And in transition, so lays it home. Beating the Hokie lineup along with point guard Georgia Amor, Kayla King, Kayana Trailer, and Taylor Soul. And quickly, a three ball from Amor and Sarah. In Coach Kenny Brooks' <laughs> office, as do most of the teams, she's just an unselfish player and a hard worker, as Kenny said, the hardest worker out there on the court. Who's what made that play work? Amor for three. Got it. And sometimes when you have your best player sit out, that can open up things for other players on the floor. A oh, wide open look, Amor. Swish. Shot that rolled in for Day Wilson is the only field goal from either team in this quarter. And we're almost halfway through. Amor. That looked good coming off her hands. She has emerged. And she has started in the past. I don't think she started today just because of the injury. But they need, they're going to need her with Cam Taylor already in foul trouble. How about the fine for Georgia Amor? 
Georgia Amor takes it to the rim. Count the basket and a foul. So for a second, it brings Cam Taylor out of the lane because Taylor's getting ready to hedge on that screen. And Amor just decides, I'm not waiting for that screen. I'm going to go right. I think that's what happens in February. The games get more and more intense, more and more physical. Good feed into Kitley. Amor got an arm in there. Here comes Taylor Soul, the fastest player on the floor. Hokies have jumped up by 12. Look at this big play, Mac. Taylor Soul really showcasing the athleticism. Such a good defensive player. They've even put her on the Asia Fair some in this second half. But when she gets in the open court, she is. Devils beat Notre Dame yesterday in a showdown for the top spot. Both these teams still get a crack at the Blue Devils down the stretch. A three in transition is good. Good strip down by Diamond Johnson. They force Kitley to turn into a passer and she finds Amor for three. What's fun about both of these offenses is a big time screen with another three to follow for Virginia Tech. Hokies have won their last three. Florida State coming off a Thursday night loss at Miami. Oh. Amor from downtown. Oh. George Amor has a triple-double to her career, and that's just straight Jordan step back. Off of the screen, Amor step back. First three attempted is good in this ball game, and who else but Georgia Amor to do so? Before that, Mac, this is a pretty jumper from Amor. Yeah, the little bit. Georgia Amor, what a step, and the Hokies are cooking. Jumped up by 15, Georgia Amor, and this Virginia Tech offense responding off of a solid effort from the defensive end, Mac. Who likes being at the bottom of the league? <laughs> well, I think they're, they're solid. They find ways to beat you by execution. Yes. And these two teams played in Raleigh. First time that Virginia Tech had ever beaten them in Raleigh. Yeah. A little Amor magic. In the first half, let's get you to the studio now. Christy Winter, Scott Terp, Rebecca Lovo, and John Brickley. For the three and knocks it down clean. Nothing but net. Leading three-point shooter this season for North Carolina. Kitley on the feed from Amor. Third crack at it. Two offensive possessions for T-Soul. And that's what happens when you allow them three opportunities and one possession. From 15 to 17 feet. Hermosa now with six points. See, that's example, an example of giving up a good shot for a better shot. Amor penetrating the defense. And Morgan reaches in and commits the foul. Kayla King, Taylor Soul on the glass. Hokies swing around, Georgia Amor for three. Louisville put the clamps on Notre Dame, and now Duke controlling the tempo here in the first half of this one. Kitley has to kick it out, Amor for three. That'll no. help loosen it up a bit, Amor. Kitley really fighting for position. Oh, oh come on, Amor! George Amor, you go ahead and shoot till your arm falls off. The offense finally has arrived, and it's beautiful. The reason why you go under is to keep them from driving. Oh, King wide open on the inbound. Watch Kayla King right here slip right here to the bucket, uncontested. Number 11, here she is. Amor finds the scene, got it. Yeah. Kitley was looking for the duck in, and Amor dribbled right into it.